Hey guys, and welcome to lesson number five for your appearance Alice 4, where I will teach you how to create new missions in the game. Now, missions in your opponent's Alice 4 are quite simple. They're easy to make, at least the basic ones, and that's what we're going to make. Uh, so let's begin. Now, the first step to create a mission is to create our mod file. Now, I won't go over that in this lesson. If you want to learn how to do that, I'll have a link to that up there. Let's go over to the second step, which is to create the folder structure. So I have already created my mod. So let me just open it here. It's located in Document, Paradox Interactive, Europe in is 4, Mod, Missions. Excellent. So now I'm going to copy the relevant folders and files that I will need to create our missions. All right, so the first folder that we will need is the missions folder. So let me create that folder in here. And from this folder, I will borrow a, an existing file on which I will base my own missions on. So let's use the, um, the Austrian missions and I'll just rename them to Creek missions, since we'll be creating missions for the Creek uh, Native American nation. All right, the next folder that we will need is the interface folder. And from this folder, we will need a file called country missions. Okay, country missions.gfx which is the file that will be used to store our graphics for the mission that we're creating. All right. Now, for the graphics, we will also need the GFX folder. And inside of that, we have our interface folder. And inside the interface folder, there's the missions folder as well. So for now, I'm just going to borrow one file from here and we will just base our missions on that. Okay, so let me just take uh, one of these files. Please note that you're not taking the arrow files since they, they are not really relevant. We can take the mission alliances file. So let's just copy that over, excellent. All right, so one more uh, folder that I will need is the localization folder that will house all of our localization for the mission that we're creating. And from here, we need a file called missions L English. Okay, so missions L English, I'm going to copy it over here. And that's basically all for creating the folder structure. Now we'll go to step number three, create the mission entry. So let's open our mission file. And we're going to need to change a couple of things here. Now I'm going to make this file much shorter and smaller since we don't need everything that's happening in here. But we do need to keep some basic stuff. So first of all, we need to keep the slot. Okay, so the slot indicates where our mission will be positioned. Okay, let me just open the game and I will show you exactly what I mean. So if we open the mission interface, you see that we have these, these are the slots, right? So we have the first one, it starts from the left. So we have the first one, the second one, third, fourth, and fifth. All right, so I want to create just a few missions here on the first slot. So we'll keep it as it is. It also says that in the file itself. I'm going to rename this to Creek Missions. Okay, uh, it's not going to be a generic mission. Okay, one thing that I would like to mention is that if you don't fill all the slots, right? So if I only create missions in the first slot, the other slots will be filled by the generic missions that the game has for other nations. All right, 
AI means that the AI will use these missions as well. Potential is which country we want to use these missions. Now, if you don't remember the country tag, the three letters for your country, you can easily find it by going to history, countries, and we'll just type Creek. And we see that it's CRE. So I'll just put CRE in the tag. All right. Now, has country shield yes means that when we create our mission, we're going to have this little shield that indicates that this is a mission specific for this nation. As you can see, the generic ones don't have that. All right. So this is the first mission that we get uh, on this slot, on the first slot from the left. So I'm just going to empty it a bit and just put the stuff that we need. And I'm going to do the same for the next one. So let's start with this one and I'll just remove everything past that. Okay, so let's go to the end of the file and I will remove everything up until this point. So it looks like this. Okay, so this ending bracket belongs to this opening bracket. So I have to keep that. And this bracket ends, as you can see by the red line, hopefully you can see that in the video. It ends in here. So from that bracket to this bracket, this is our first mission. And then we have this second one. All right, so let's do our first mission. Like I said, I want to empty this file a little bit so we'll make it much more simple. So for the effects, we're just going to put something quite simple in a moment. And for our triggers, we'll also make it much more simple. Now you do have a line here called completed by. That means that if you start the game at a date which goes after 1526, the mission will be complete, completed automatically. So I'm going to remove that as well. We don't need that. And here we can tell the game that we have another mission which is required for this mission to uh, be available to the player. And we'll use that in a moment. And this is the icon that we're going to use for this mission. Excellent. Now let me just clear up the second one. So I'm going to remove the completed by. And I'm going to remove the AI weight just to make things as simple as possible. We will have some provinces to highlight. But I just want provinces. I don't want whole areas. And this is our trigger and what the effects this mission will have. Now, uh, I want my second mission, right, which is positioned right after this one. Okay, so let me just put the position here to position equals one. So that means that it will start in the first slot, so here, and the position will be one. So the positions go down. So it's one, two, three, four, and so on. So this one is going to be one, this one is going to be two. All right. And I want this mission to depend on this one. So let's first uh, give it some name. Okay, we'll just call it like a test, test uh, creek mission one. Okay. And this one is just going to be number two. And I want us to not be able to access this mission without completing this one. So I'll just take the name and I'll put it in required missions in here between these brackets and I'm going to remove this. Excellent. All right, now let us uh, have some effects uh, on these things. I'm not going to have any triggers. Now triggers determine what needs to be done or what the player needs to do in order to uh, having this mission available so that you can click it on it and complete it. All right. So uh, again, we're creating something very simple. You can put a lot of stuff in here. You can go into the other 
mission files in the vanilla game and you can uh, basically look at what uh, you can add right you can put all sort of stuff all sorts of stuff there but we're going to make it much simple so no triggers our missions will be finished immediately but we will have some effects so for example let's just give the player uh, some money now if i want to know what the syntax what the code is for giving money to the player so one good place to look for effects for your missions is the eu4 wiki in here you will have the modding section and inside of that you'll have commands right so these are all the things that you can do in the game so like I said, we want some ducats, we want some money. So let's uh, do this one, add treasury 50. So in this mission, we're just going to give the player 50 ducats. And in this one, we'll give the player, let's say 100 ducats. The same thing you can do for triggers, right? So if you want to look for all kinds of triggers, you can go to conditions and you can add all kinds of conditions for when the player is able to use uh, to trigger this mission all right so in here we're going to give him 50 and in here we're going to give the player 100 now i'm going to put this one in here okay so that means that for this mission to trigger we'll first of all need to finish this one and we're going to save our file and we'll just see it in game in a few moments but first of all let's take care of our localization and graphics so let me go back to the mod okay first of all we'll take care of localization so that we can see it properly in the game so let's go to the mod mod missions localization if we, if we open the missions L English file, we can again borrow an existing entry. So let me just take this one. I'll take the title and the description. I'll copy them and I'll add them at the end of the file. All right. And now I'm just going to uh, copy the names of the missions. So test quick mission one, title. Don't forget to leave the title, otherwise the game will not know that this is the title that, that is supposed to be shown. And uh, the description here. So let's just give it the same name, doesn't really matter. You can give it whatever name you want. Test mission one. And we'll just call it first Creek Creek test mission. And we'll do the same thing for our second mission. So test mission two, second. Excellent. So that takes care of our localization and now we'll handle the graphics. Now graphics are a bit more complicated. So to add the graphics, we'll need to first of all change the file. If you have paint.net installed, you can open this file in paint.net. If you don't have it, I'll have a link to that in the description. And from here, you can just basically change this file however you want. I'm just going to scribble a bit over it just so that we can see the difference in the game. Okay, let's just put something like this. All right. And then we can just save the file. Now, the reason that I took the file is so that I get a file in the right dimensions and I get the file in the right uh, format. So it's DDS format, right? And then I can just change the file and I don't have to create the correct format and the right size. So we'll just save the file. In here, we are going to uh, keep things as they are. Okay, don't select the generate map maps. We don't need that. Okay, and we'll just go save it. Excellent. So now we need to name the file appropriately. So our first mission is called 
test create mission one. So I will rename the file accordingly. And let us create another copy of this file. And we'll name it test creek mission two. And I'll just change this file a bit as well. Just so that we can tell the difference between them. Okay, so this one is going to have a little bit of red. Okay, we'll save that. Excellent. All right, so uh, now we have our uh, files. Now, please note here that I have uh, typed interface incorrectly. That would make the files not work. So I'm going to fix that. Okay. And now the last thing to do is to add the entry for these graphic files. So the game knows that they exist since they're not already existing in the database of the game. So to do that, we'll go to interface, we'll open this country missions view file. And here, I just want to go down a bit. You see that we have mission arrow parts, so we don't need that. We'll go down a bit more. Mission frames and icons, we don't need that. And generic mission icons. Excellent, we can use this. So I'll just take an existing entry and I'll create it twice. So in here, we'll just change the names as we have given the names to the files. So let's see. So this is going to be our first name. You need to put both of these here and here. And this is going to be our second one. And of course, we need to update these names in the uh, mission file itself. So I'm going to put here one and here we're going to put number two. Excellent. Now let's just make sure all the files are saved. All right. So now we're ready to test. Let's see the result in the game itself. Now, don't forget to activate the mod once you launch the game. Okay and let's see what we get. All right, so as you can see, we have our test mission one with the Crick shield, and we have our test mission two. So if we click on this one, we should probably get some money, right? Let's see. Yes, we got 50 ducats. And if we click on this one, we'll get another 100 ducats and the mission is complete. So that is all guys, as you can see, quite simple, quite fast. Uh, obviously you can make these missions much more complicated. You can add a lot of conditions, uh, much more uh, interesting bonuses and effects. Uh, but this is only meant to show you how to do the basic stuff. And from here you can take it in any direction you want. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, this lesson, sorry. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, if something isn't clear, something isn't working, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye.